Hey, this is Aaron with Outdoor Wild Legacies. I'm here at 6 a.m. headquarters. Um, Tristan was wanting me to do some videos on some of his products. And so I decided to do a product video on the G3 bags. They are by far probably one of my favorite pieces of gear. Uh, everybody who spends a lot of time in a backpack uh, in the outdoors knows that Organization is key and it is great um, to be able to find stuff quick and efficiently. Um, it could mean, literally it could mean the difference between life and death if you're needing to grab that, uh, that first aid kit or you know something like that. So um, I'm a huge, huge believer in, in the G3 bags. So what he has is he has three different um, Three different materials so he's got for those people who want a really uh, tough um, you know a really tough system he's got the 500d cordura he's got the 1.9 uh, ripstop nylon fabric and then the 1.1 this is going to be your your ultralight um, you know sil poly so the, all three of of these bags um, they come in four or five um, piece sets or you can buy them individually they come from sizes ranging from extra small to extra large and so the extra large is 18 and a half inches by 13 inches and then going down from there we have 14 by 9 uh, 12 and a quarter by six and a half, um, nine by five, and then seven and a half by three and a half. I'm going to show you what I use my, uh, my G3 bags for, just so you can get an idea of maybe how you can organize your pack. So with my extra large, usually I'll run clothes. You know, I, I don't, I don't use a lot of clothes. I know it might sound nasty, but um, you know, I'll maybe run extra pair of underwear, extra socks, uh, I'll throw my rain gear in there sometimes. Um, and then in my next bag, you know, I'll run all of my food items. Um, usually just a day, uh, set for food items, maybe two days, uh, if I'm going to be spike camping out or something like that. Uh, but I can also, for a one day set, I can also fit my um, my MSR wind burner set in here um, so this is my kill kit and you'll notice I have four of the bags here but I actually use more than that so in my kill kit I've got the 6 a.m. game bags which we do a separate video on that and then I have the multi cloth which he has a setup kill set uh skill set already uh that he sells um so you can easily get away with that if you want but here's the uh the extra small and what i do is i actually put my cordage in here and uh if any of you have ever been climbers i actually stuff this with my cordage just like you would your your climbing rope so that way um you know it it comes out it doesn't get all tangled stuff like that so i've got my cordage in here uh usually i'll keep you know some different tools like uh, a allen key set uh, i've got my cutco hunting knife in here so that's that's what i'll keep in my kill kit uh one thing that's missing in here is my uh, my rubber gloves, I usually keep rubber gloves in there as well, uh, but I've used them all and I haven't replaced them yet. Uh, and then I've got my first aid kit and at some point I'll do a video on, you know, what I keep in my first aid kit. That's what I use my G3 bags for. Uh, one thing I will say is I'll use an extra, uh, extra large 
uh, bag if I've, I'm doing a multi-day trip um, where I just need to keep my food. Uh, I keep all my food together and stuff like that in, in that extra large set. And there's a couple different reasons for that. One, it's really easy. I can reach in my bag as soon as I get to wherever I'm going to camp. Um, I throw, um, you know, my cordage through one of these loops right here and I can throw it up over a tree limb if I'm in bear country or whatever, my food's out of the way and I can get to hunting. Um, so that's, that's one of the things that I do for that. One of the things also that I think I'm going to switch up for this year, and I highly recommend this, uh, for anybody else out there. I almost lost my kill kit, um, on my last elk hunt, uh, because it was right before dark and these things kind of blend in a little bit. So I'll probably switch over to the orange for my kill kit and my first aid. So that way, you know, I can differentiate the, between the two really quickly if I'm having to reach in my bag or, you know, if I'm having to um, leave it out. So I'll probably switch over to the orange uh, for those two. But other than that, uh, I absolutely love my G3 bags. Like I said, they're, they're probably one of my favorite pieces of gear. So we're gonna switch over and I'm gonna show you how much each one of these sets weighs uh, between the Kodura, the Silpoly, and the 1.9 ripstop nylon. I compressed all of the G3 sets into the small bag so that there wasn't any uh, run over onto the table so it wouldn't affect the weight. Fits a little bit better on the scale. So we'll start with the uh, 500D Cordura set and you're right at around 12 ounces. Now the 1.9 ripstop nylon, which is about the medium weight set, right at about five ounces. And the ultralight uh, 1.1 sil poly is right at about four ounces. So as you can see, no matter which G3 bag set you go with, you're not gonna be disappointed. It'll keep your bag super organized and you're not paying a heavy weight penalty for it. All of the materials are waterproof materials your only leak points are going to be at your seams at the end there's two seams at the end and your zipper could possibly be a leak point as well uh, you can seam seal your ends uh, if that's an issue for you but one thing that i do uh, which is an option if you know i'm going to keep my uh, my stuff in the vestibule or something like that where they could potentially maybe get wet is i'll flip it over and the water will shed off the ends uh, but I don't seam seal mine. Um, it's just not a huge concern for me. So, like I said, no matter whether you go with the 500D Cordura, 1.9 Ripstop, or the Sil Poly, you're not going to be disappointed. Um, he has several different color options on the website as well, and he's got all those listed. <clears throat> so you're not stuck to just what you see here. Uh, there's, like I said, several different color options. So. Go on over to 6amoutdoors.com. It's V-I-A-M outdoors.com. Support an American-made product. And I promise you won't be disappointed with these G3 bags.